Uh, let's right now, though, go back to the market action. There is one big tech name still working. Renita Young's got the developing story with Alphabet trying to stay higher as the market's pulled back. Renita, what's going on? Well, right now, Alphabet is introducing some new hardware, some custom ARM-based AI chips that's got this stock trading at all-time highs today. It hit an all-time high not too long ago. But listen, Oliver, AI costs are continuing to rise, and Google Alphabet wants to find a way to have more affordable cloud computing. But also, the company wants to reduce its reliance on outside vendors and become more competitive versus Intel and NVIDIA. So that's why they're starting out by unveiling this Axion ARM-based server chip. And the plan is for it to run YouTube ad workloads first. It'll also be able to run big data analysis. And the new processor will actually be available later this year. But it's not exactly new to Google ARM-based chips because earlier this year, Google started selling access to virtual machines that actually use Ampere's ARM-based chips. So you can see there that Google wants to reduce the reliance on this company, even though it's a startup, they want to bring more of its chip making in-house as it has been doing. But it also is a little bit late to the party because it joins Amazon, Microsoft, Alibaba, who have launched similar efforts over recent years. And apparently, Oliver, porting apps or ARM machines to ARM machines, it's just made sense for entities that want to cut their spending on a hole on AI computing. So we'll get a chance to see just how the shares push this one out through the end of the day and how others respond to it as well. Yeah, it might be a little test to see how uh, hardware news is received uh, in a period here where tech is under pressure instead, where AI hasn't uh, necessarily been uh, an immediate uh, winning uh, you know, news item lately. Mm -hmm. So, uh, all right, but shares are up right now. And uh, in-house development uh, has been a popular thing that yeah. some of these big tech companies are trying to veer towards that the market generally has appreciated less reliance uh, on the supply chains they can't control. So mm -hmm. I get that where the market likes it. Okay, thanks, Renita. Of course.